So this is my little um, bubble pump. It produces 220 litres per hour of air. And the air goes up to my pallet garden where it runs uh, eight pallet gardens. And some of them, the water only goes up about two feet or three feet, so uh, up to a metre. And some of the other ones go almost two metres. And this is the pressure that's running them. Um, so it's the difference between the height of the water in this tube. I have food, food colouring in it so you can see the height. And this one here. And we just go. So it's 44 centimetres. So that's all the pressure you need to pump water in any kind of a container garden. Now I'm going to try and um, I'm going to release this just to show you. So you can see now the uh, the pressures have equalised, and I'm also what else am I going to show you? Oh yeah. So I've got to play around a tiny bit here. I'm going to just show you the pump is capable of far more. So the pump is four and a half watts. Oh, if I can get this off. Okay. So four and a half watt pump is capable of far more. So I'm just blocking the outlet now. So it has blown back. I'll do it again. It, it blows back very quickly through the manometer and uh, just as quickly it's back again. Anyway, um, that means that the pump is it is producing, it, if it was optimized for um, this amount of pressure, like uh, say half a meter of pressure, of t um, it would uh, pump a lot more air probably on uh, on the four and a half watts and that means you could um, do more water pumping anyway I'm going to leave it at that I'm trying to explain this to people but I'm not explaining it really well anyway imagine like you're in a poor country and you haven't you've got no money for irrigation systems and stuff like that that means you can use um, the power like I, I made a pulsar pump thing uh, about 25 years ago and it went down uh, two and a half meters under water and I didn't think that all you needed to do was to go down 45 centimeters of the water to uh, pump pump water. So this wouldn't be much water, but in the pallet gardens, it's the circulation of water, nutrients, and oxygen. Oxygen and heat is what makes the big difference. So things just grow faster, and uh, you've got to imagine like the plant roots. It's really about all about the plant roots. The plant roots are getting um, they're getting more oxygen, their waste products, the carbon dioxide, etc., is being carried away and um, because the water is circulating to the roots in, in the system, the, the bu uh, bucket irrigation system that I devised. Anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you understand. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.